What's going on guys? As you can see, it's a bit dark. Jordan's behind me. Me and him hit the road at three o'clock this morning to come up North Wales. I'm at a quite um, an interesting location to anybody who would find this type of thing interesting. I'm actually at an, uh, an abandoned quarry and um, there's a place called the Binocular Tunnels. Now, there's cuts of rock in cuts of rock there's cuts of rock in the rock that look like binoculars it was a failed experiment to bore into the rock the machines was left abandoned just because they can maneuver them from my understanding uh we've just seen them so me and jordan are gonna get up there now so let's get up there so as you can see jordan is kindly lighting them up for me but these are the binoculars that I told her about. So as you can see, um, they've gone in once and then gone in twice. Like I said, they've tried to bore into the rock and it is just so thick and dense, I suppose, that it was just too hard to move the machines. Crazy, so, yeah. so that's the reason why they stopped. And Jordan also noticed, if you look, they've done it there as well. Um, and, the in, and the old chain, incredible experience, but me and Jordan are dying to get up there, so let's get in those holes. Let's do it. <laughs> so this is inside of the quarry and the binoculars, the location is called. Sorry if I'm a bit echoey, I'm in a tunnel, but... Wow, this is a location that's been on my pins for about a year and Anybody who's been here, they also know there's another iconic location literally about two minutes away from here. That's all I'm gonna say. If you know, you know. Um, this is a skater's dream as well. I just can't believe how actually deep it goes and imagine the machinery that would have, had, have done this. It's just... Yeah, history like this, I love it. And it gives a hint to the Welsh heritage as well that we sadly lost all the time. And it's just remains now of our heritage. I love doing stuff like this, to be honest. Let me know down below what you think of this location because it's so unique. I'm actually speechless because it's phenomenal, to be honest. It's stunning. I'm in, well, I'm in aura at the minute, to be honest. So I think we're pretty much done here, but it's just a nice part of the history, to be honest. I was going to fly the drone out from Baya, but up to here, but I think the old girl is uh, going to be retiring soon because she's just playing at... Um, we're going to be heading back to the van now, but I still want to get some more footage. And I don't want to leave such a cool location that doesn't look all cool on camera, but believe me, when you're here, in person, it's cool. Oh look, we got lost and we've come across Cump de Leary Lake. Look at all the slate and that. Yeah, obviously this would have been a lot of for the houses in the local area. Cool spot. So we are just walking back to the van. It's some stunning scenery around you. Look out for the clues if you want to find the location. It's easy enough to find. Or a surreal um, location that was. Yeah, I keep on baffling, but yeah, it's cool. Wait till you see the photos and whatnot, and Jordan's point of view as well, because it's always good to see two views of a hole. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going back to the van now, probably have some breakfast, and um, I'll see you all soon. Have a good one. Peace.